good afternoon. Welcome to my daily broadcast. Out and about. I just got an event I'm going to be at in about 30 minutes. I want to get this broadcast done before I complete, before I get there. So this is a stop on the way. I'm in Santa Monica, by the way, in case you're wondering, location-wise. That's Wilshire Boulevard back there, and that's actually my alumni grad school over there, University of Santa Monica. So um, let me get to the topic at hand. <laughs> this is episode number 804. And the topic today, um, basically, well, the way I called it was... Um, you may know the term catfishing, but have you ever tried dog fishing? And it sounds ridiculous, but it's actually a dating term I read about this morning. So, of course, it gave me pause for thought and some inspiration to talk to you today. So, before I jump into the topic at hand, it'll be brief because this is kind of an easy explanation. Um, but it's going to go deeper, I have a feeling. Um, hi, Ashley. Nice to see you my broadcast. Um, I am going to introduce myself so you know who I am, what I'm about. Usually, my, bro- my backdrop is a little bit more uh, neutral than this. This is out and about one, so just so you're aware. So my name is Barry Selby, as you may have guessed by looking around the broadcast. I am a best-selling author, or the author of the best-selling book, 50 Ways to Love Your Lover, a book for singles and couples, men and women, about relationships. Um, I'm also an inspirational speaker and relationship and love expert, helping women create balance in love, life, and business. Watching the passers by, so just stopping for a second, because <laughs> I want to keep this come up confidential. Confidential and public? Yeah, interesting. Um... I am a passionate champion for the Divine Feminine, which informs my work with women and why I do these talks every day. And also why I led to these talks starting over two years ago called Messages from the Masculine. Noise, truck. Inspire. Sorry. Well, I, back up a second. In, messages from the Masculine, Inspiring Your Feminine Heart is the name of the talks. So I'm doing these back in um, oh, December 2016? Anyway. Let me jump into this topic. This is, another, so this is episode number 804, and I'll give you a link. I'll give you the verbal links at the back end of where my previous recordings are. So you can find them and watch them. I'm trying to get to a decent angle. All right, somewhere around there. All right. Um, so, you know the term catfishing. I'm not going to explain it here because you need to do some research if you don't know what it is. It isn't a pleasant one. Um, it's kind of a predatory term. Dog fishing, on the other hand, is a little different. And what dog fishing actually means. I hear a baby coming, so excuse me whilst that happens. So dog fishing, if you guys hadn't heard the term, is actually a ridiculously simple term, but it speaks to something much deeper. And what dog fishing literally means... Okay, someone's not happy. <laughs> Someone might like with a stroller. <laughs> so anyway, upset baby. So let me get to the topic, because I keep running around circles here. Dog fishing is the act of actually being in pictures on your um, dating profile with a dog that isn't yours. <laughs> it sounds so ridiculous, but that's the thing. Dog fishing is actually a term which is basically, for me, this is where I get to the point of this. Is when you, so dog fishing, let me say it again. Dog fishing is, is actually posing in your profile pictures and your dating profile pictures with a dog that isn't yours. So you borrow your neighbor's dog, you borrow a friend's dog, you go to a dog pound and get one and give it back. Horrible if you did that. But it's still a false pretense. And this is the point. It's about false presentation. So let me just say a bit about that because this is where this is where it goes deeper. Because you know my talks aren't usually surface. There's been a lot of... Well, I posted a couple of memes earlier today and a friend of mine started something this morning. He did a whole thing about attraction and looks and appearance being very vital. And if you're going to force... Pres- if you're going to falsely represent yourself with using somebody else's dog, that's part of the same syndrome of not presenting who you are authentically. And if you know anything about my work and what I talk about, I'm very passionate about being people being real. And one of the memes I posted today was about, um, you may fall in love with the flowers, but you can be around when there's only the roots left. Meaning that, and it sounds crude, but what it means is that, are you going to fall in love with how I'm going to look, but you can stick around when the looks change, or you're going to learn about the depth of who I am beyond just the looks, because that's really the point of this. When you force represent, be it in the way you present visually in your photos, or you do it in the way you write about yourself, you describe yourself in inaccurate terms. Maybe you put yourself as being 20 years younger than you really are. Maybe you put yourself as being single when you're still married. Whatever that is, that's false representation. And if you do that, what you're actually doing is putting out a persona that isn't you. Now, maybe that's how you catch your dates and catch maybe the opposite word. But it's not what I recommend as a as healthy behavior. My passionate work in my, in my coaching is helping people be more real, more authentic, more aligned to their true values. And if you are busy doing things where you're um, using made-up stuff to get their attention, 
using pictures to get somebody's attention that aren't real. It's really, to be honest, heinous. It's more than heinous. It's crappy behavior. So I'm not recommending that. But here's the thing I want to talk about too. If you're worried about not looking real, excuse me, if, you don't, if, you look, if you're worried about not looking attractive in your profile pictures, here's the thing. I've been, I've been on some dating apps. I'm still on some dating apps, just to be honest. So I see different pictures out there. And what I see a lot of people doing is they're looking very serious or stern or looking down at the camera. There are simple things you can do to be presentable on camera that make you still authentic, but make you a lot more attractive. One of the simple things you can do, smile. <laughs> it's so simple. But people just post their pictures and it's like, if you're going to have the effort of, of borrowing somebody's dog to pose with, couldn't you at least in your pictures smile, be happy, take the sunglasses off. That's another one, by the way. So smile, don't wear sunglasses, at least in some of your pictures. Have a full or three quarter body shot so you can see, so you can actually be authentic presentation because somebody may look at your headshot and see one thing about what you look like, but when you show up and you look different physically, they're gonna go, that's not what I thought you were. So being authentic is important. That's three. Fourth one is have pictures that are lit decently. Like when I'm standing right now, you can, I can turn, you can see my face, my, my, the lighting of my face changes because of shadow and light. I'm in the shade now because I can look at the camera without blinding myself with the sun because it's bright today. So having decent lighting is a good thing too. That's number four, five, four. Number five, um, when you write about yourself, you can be somewhat embellished and be playful in terms of being poetic and stuff and in the visions and dreams, but don't write things that aren't true. Be honest, be real, be seen. So when somebody meets you, they know who they're meeting is actually you, not somebody else. There's a few other things I want to run into. I'm just seeing what's coming up. And by the way, if you haven't seen my broadcast before, usually these talks are done when I'm sitting, on a, sitting in a chair with a tripod so the camera's much more steady. I'm holding it by my hand, hence the reason why it's juggling around. So I apologize for the wobbliness, but I am out and about today and I can't carry a tripod everywhere I go. So I've got a little grip on the back of my phone that's somewhat stable. <sighs> I was going to say number five, I think it was on. Here's the piece that's coming up. If you're on a dating, if you're on a dating app looking for some, looking for, if you're a woman looking for Mr. Right, presuming you're, you're straight, or you're a man looking for Ms. Right, don't be afraid to tell the truth. In fact, I recommend highly that you tell the truth because when you do speak the truth in your presentation, then you can actually, sorry, I'll move my arm around a bit here, you can actually be aligned to who you really are. And the other part is, if you really are looking for the perfect partner, now if you're just looking just for a quick date, you can, people do it all the time and they're not presenting themselves re in a real way. But if you're looking for the real one, the real deal, a real relationship, put the effort into making sure that the person is looking for, that you're looking for can see who you really are. That's what the bottom line I'm gonna say, is you can in fact present yourself in a much healthier way when you are being authentic and being real. The false appearance, the fake profiles, the dating stuff that's out there is so uh, misleading that it's really easy to get confused when you meet somebody. So my, my work in the talk about this is about being authentic, being honest, being real, just being your truth. The same thing is true. Hang on, I'm just positioning my changing hands. I'm getting tired. <laughs> so, so my message, my point, my hint here, you know, and I was supposed to make this brief, so I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna get going. So I'm making the hints quick is truthfully be authentic in your dating profile which means pictures of you that are real as i mentioned earlier about looking looking visible full you know see your face straight on don't wear sunglasses um smile you know be actually appear like you would really look like you're enjoying yourself <laughs> there's an idea and ladies some of the some of the shots that you put up on dating profiles where either you're hiding your presentation or you're overexerting you know what i mean over expressing your presentation find the middle ground please just to be real um, what else I want to talk about that? The bottom line is really simple, as I said before. Keep it real, keep it simple, keep it truthful. If you want to get an amazing person to meet you on your dating apps, why would you fake it, why would you hide it, and why would you mislead? So dog fishing is a misleading tactic, as I mentioned, and so is the other things I mentioned. So now you've got some stuff to work with, some juice, if you want some more help. Um, I'll put a link in the comments. You can reach out to me, get a, get a complimentary chat with me. Ladies, you can reach out to a support in that area. I'll put my book in there too because I mentioned the book earlier. But bottom line is really simple. Dating is something that is wonderful to do, especially when you're being real and authentic because there's nothing to hide. And when you're not making up stories, you don't have to worry about what you're keeping track of because you know what you're talking about is your truth. 
it's kind of simple that way. So I think that's about it. Um, if you haven't seen my broadcast before, I do this talk every day at 5 p.m., which is why I'm doing it now. I'm out on the road, but I'm going to do it because I want to get it done before it's too late and we keep on time. So you can count on my broadcast at 5 p.m. Pacific time unless I notify you otherwise on social media. You can find my talks on Facebook Live first, which is facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby. That's my personal page. 5 p.m. Pacific time every day of the week, seven days a week, right here. Replays go to my business page on Facebook, which is barryselby.author. Please like my page and look at them all there. Also, you can find my talks on YouTube. My YouTube channel is Barry Selby. Please subscribe to my channel. And you find a playlist on there called Messages from the Masculine where they all live. I think that's made my point. Um, you got something to look at. I invite you to take care of yourself as always because being authentic is an inside job. So take care of yourself first so you can feel comfortable being authentic. And uh, back in tomorrow, something deeper. This was just a topic I want to talk about that came up and I knew I had a brief moment to talk about it tonight. Back in tomorrow, something maybe richer, deeper, and more authentic. If you have any questions, reach out to me on social media. If you have any thoughts about this topic, please put them below. And I'll talk to you later, uh, tomorrow, same time. So I invite you to take care of yourself. You're worth it. You deserve the best. Be the best yourself, and then you can get what you want. I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Take care.